everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takesh, and I am very, very excited today as I typically am before any of my YouTube videos. But this one is also super exciting because I have received so many comments from everyone all over the world about why it is that I don't talk about small spaces. So today we are going to look at how to design very small spaces efficiently and beautifully. So follow me and let's get right into the small spaces. And since so many of you ask me about what I'm wearing, I will share with you that today I am wearing a beautiful silk-like dress by Rice and shoes that are more summery but really work nicely with my dress from Zimmerman. I've had so many messages from you talking about small spaces and your need for help in this arena. So today I'm really gonna dive deep into designing small spaces, but I really can't do that without really bringing up what revolutionized small space design. And that was when Nate Berkus was on Oprah back in 2012, when he did his reveal of a Bostonian apartment that was literally jaw dropping. What revolutionized small space design was when Nate Berkust redesigned this Boston apartment, which was literally 250 square feet, the tiniest apartment you can imagine. And the way that he transformed the space is literally and should be a case study in small space design. As you can see from the footage here, you have an incredible space that was transformed into what is very utilitarian by having large shelves, tall shelves that can house books and items that one needs. It has a wonderful, what looks like a sofa, which also acts as a um, bed. Then you have a sitting area, which houses chairs inside the table, which is really genius. And all of these things really apply to this day and can be used for your small space design. What Nate did that was jaw dropping and literally took the design world by storm was the ability to incorporate what is beautiful into a tiny space. Just because you have a small room, it doesn't mean that you mustn't take into consideration the design element. And now we are going to look at what these design elements are so you too can have a Nate Berkus design worthy space. When designing a small space, you want to use what I call an envelope. And by that, I mean you want to envelope the room in one color. As you can see in this photo, this navy room looks actually quite expansive. And the reason it looks expansive, even though it's a dark color, is that everything was painted in that color. You've got your trim that's in navy. You've got your walls that are also in that same blue. You've got the moldings, etc. So when you want to have a big impact on a small space, you must use the same color. This applies also to lighter paint colors, which would probably make the space look even larger. Additionally, you do not want to have broken pieces, meaning you don't want to break up the room into different areas. You want to keep it into one cohesive space. And by doing that, you want to have one rug, one color. Think of one as your best friend, one color, one rug. You don't want to break up the space to make it look and feel larger. The next important tip that I'm going to give everyone is furniture scale. Furniture scale is equally important in a small space as it is a large space, but I would say it's even more important in a small space. Not long ago, we had an episode linked right above about designer mistakes you do not want to make. One of the points that we made was that you should never lean a piece of furniture, a couch against the wall. I did get a lot of comments about that. And what I do want to say is in a small space, I understand you have very limited capacity to be able to float pieces. And you are absolutely correct. What you can do, however, is to put a table, a credenza, a very small, skinny, lean table behind a sofa by giving the illusion of floating. And you can then put table lamps or decorative items on that table behind the sofa. But back to what's important here, which is the scale of furniture. 
If you have an airy piece of furniture, meaning you could see the legs of the furniture, the arms of the furniture, as you see in these photos, it gives the sense that the piece is larger than it is and it isn't so bulky. You want to avoid oversized, over-upholstered furniture. Over-upholstered pieces from head to toe where everything is upholstered will make the piece look very bulky, very heavy, and it will make the room look small. Smaller pieces will bring a lot of visual depth to a room, trick the eye into thinking this space is larger and actually be even more decorative. Another valuable point I would like to make about designing small spaces is focal point. You always want to have a focal point in most rooms, but it is even more critical that you have it in a small space. And the reason is you want the eye to be drawn to one space, one focal point in a room, which will then make the rest of the room disappear in a way where the focal point will take precedence over the small space. For example, if you look at this room, you will notice a very beautiful ornate mirror. What are you noticing? You are noticing the mirror. In fact, the mirror is really dictating the size of this room and is tricking the eye into believing the room is larger. In some of these other photos, you're going to see a double mirror effect. Layering mirrors is also a wonderful idea in a space where you don't necessarily have artwork or like artwork up. Lastly, I would suggest a beautiful focal point centered around a beautiful piece of art if you have artwork that you would like to display. All of these ideas will really create a beautiful, large, homogenous space. Another relevant aspect of small space design is making and using utilitarian furniture. And one of the best ways to do that, for example, is to use what I call platform beds. Platform beds can be either a Murphy bed. Murphy beds um, did get a bad rap for many years, but now they are coming back in a way that are actually quite pleasing to the eye and can also be very useful. As you can see in this photo, this could be a Murphy bed for a very small space that you then lift up and pretend is not there. Additionally, what you can also do is there are these cubby platform beds. These are really useful. Even if you had a lot of space, these are greatly useful because you can use little baskets in these cubbies and they can also act as more storage. Lastly, another great find that I wanted to share with you is what I call an undermount bed. And what that means is that if you lift the box spring or the mattress of this bed, underneath you have a great amount of storage. That is not an eyesore. Again, think outside of the box. Buy pieces, which I will link below, by the way, pieces that I know are going to be great for small spaces that are also utilitarian. The last critical component to small space interior design is organization. And by organization, and you guys know I get super excited when I talk about organization, as you can see, I am smiling. And that is, A, let's talk about how you have to keep a small space absolutely organized at all times. You have to have a rhythm, a rhythm of putting your key on a key hook, a rhythm of putting your things away. But outside of that, you also want to make sure that you buy pieces that also double as storage pieces. Essentially, you want aesthetically pleasing pieces that you love, that you would put in any space, but they also dual as storage. If you look at some of these photos, this particular storage, as you can see, looks almost like a brass cage. It's gorgeous credenza, and you can also store items in there. Or a closed credenza, which has room for storage. Every piece that you buy, from this tufted ottoman to what is a beautiful credenza, must dual as a storage piece. Don't just buy an ottoman because you need an ottoman. Buy an ottoman that has a lid that also can be used as storage. That is how you're going to successfully have a very organized and well-designed space. Back to my first point about organization. It is very important to take a moment to really write down how you live, what are the items that you buy on a regular basis, and create organization accordingly. Alpha, for example, is a wonderful storage solution system that is done by um, the Container Store, and we will link 
those items below so that you can look at how to organize your closets or your kitchen cabinets in order to maximize space. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Red Elevator. I hope that you will be able to tackle small spaces now with a little bit of knowledge that I was able to provide. I listen and read all of your comments, so please subscribe below and make sure and give this video a thumbs up so that others can also maybe discover it and learn about interior design. And since this video will air in 2021, even though it's almost New Year's Eve here, I wanted to wish everyone a very, very happy new year and a very safe and productive year ahead. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time.